want to be a deer in a handmade controller. I'll just get up and get it myself. <laughs> Sony Company Entertainment presents Japan Studio and From From Software. Did not form that sentence structure <laughs> with hindsight. All right, we got the Blood Barn. So this is a new series for Just Right Gaming. Mm-hmm. Wow. We did. We did name drop. In there. What do you mean? Well, like we never really say, "Hey, this is." We don't really. We, Maybe we should. We should ah. do that way more often. We probably should. All right. This is Bloodborne, bitches. Oh yes, pale blood. His voice acting, but I like his top hat. Well, you've come to the right place. What are you buying? That's the vibe I get. Right. So continuing our tradition of playing games way after they're relevant. Mm. Oh, yeah. Other than Breath of the Wild. That one was about as close as we could have got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're all the better for it. Right? Yeah. But you really wanted to play Bloodborne? I have been wanting to play Bloodborne with you for a, a second to figure out how to use the capture. Mm-hmm. But we did it, damn it. We fucking did it. All right, so we're going to make a new Count Chocula. Um, God, I'm going to go to load favorites. And uh, now that I look at it better in the light, it looks like Harry Potter with it a does, perm. It does look like Harry Potter. Uh, Maybe take off the glasses, because those aren't only the kind of glasses you have. Yeah, but they don't have the kind of glasses circles they're all circle oh it, it gets even worse i can show you the other circles oh no um age fucking appearance here let's see is it in face detail it may very well be in that thing that you just said and just then now. yeah tattoo mark glasses Okay, glasses. All right, so here's like the default glasses. Then they're here. Then you look like Ozzy Osbourne. Then here, where it's just one, and it gets where, and then just fucking look at that shit. <laughs> the Y factor. Just the Y, and it's like, ugh. I read books for a living, <laughs> and then like, <"Mar!" laughs> Will you take the red pill or the blue pill? Welcome to the Matrix. All right, let's um. Wow, so you're just doomed to look like Harry Potter. I am doomed! Alright. Oh, I should probably put in a name. Not important. <laughs> Alright, uh, how about... Um, J... R... Guy. <laughs> just right guy. <laughs> uh... Sounds like a really bad superhero name. Or junior guy. With no space. But, alright, we're done here. Finalize. Bloodborne. Hintertome Chalice. I never learned how to read. So yeah, this is a game that I've wanted to play with the sister Pickle Poo for about a minute. And why have you wanted to play with me? Uh, because you're a fedora-wearing scrub lord who needs to get good and appreciate the FromSoft games. There I... <laughs> Uh, a problem with the FromSoft games and um, probably most modern video games in general, even though I love the FromSoft games, is uh, conveyance is very much an issue. Like, um, like in the Dark Souls games, you see all these big, bulky armor sets and these huge-ass tower shields and these big-ass greatswords, and really, it's not how the game's designed to, to, to be played. When, really, you have a through the game, leveling up your dexterity and fighting everybody with a fucking knife than you do with a greatsword. And in Bloodborne, that's a lot more um, easy to notice because there are no big heavy armor sets, there is no equipment load, and there's only like one weapon for like every type of weapon, and everything's a lot faster. And ooh, nightmare fuel. He's coming over here like, <laughs> mm. you guys go, you, you guys work on JRGs, please give me your autograph. And flame. Ah, no. ah, you're so awesome. Wow. Yeah, I know. We're a little baby channel. I don't know if I have the right to be saying like that. 
I don't think so. And then there's even more fans like, oh my gosh, you guys are so awesome. <laughs> These are our fans right here. Please take selfies with us. Vagina face monster over there. I imagine that's how um, most people like. No, that's terrible. Hey, a little, li little self. I, I don't know what the fuck you would call it. You found yourself. Is good for every now and then. Self back padding. Yep. Give themselves a pat on the back. Okay, one thing I will say though is um, I don't like this hood, so I will take off this hood. Do you do you? I, will. I don't really know what's going on in this game, so. All right, so we just woke up. We sure did. And we're making our way downtown. And for some reason, we have suspenders and choose not to use them. Uh, yeah, our because pants are just gonna be on the floor. Because actually, like um, le like a goth kid's OC. What? O original character, you, you know, like for fan fiction and shit. Oh. Yes. Gosh, just oh, look, it's Werewolf Coon. I don't know if this is the same one that was sent on fire, or if this is like a different one. Hey, hey, Falcon Punch. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Oh fuck! Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm just gonna cry, chomp to death. I uh, hope you're okay with that. Ow! Right. Oh. <laughs> so, brother, how many times have you played this game? Well, time to move on to a new series. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But that's supposed to happen. You're supposed to get killed by that werewolf. Can you kill it? Yes, you can with just your bare mitts. That's what I was wondering. Or if it was like it, if it had like a. Mm -hmm. A cap, if you will. like, Or it can only go down to so far. Yeah, it was at half HP. I don't know if, like, the little red bar above it, there's, like, black space. It was at half HP, and now... But have you seen someone kill it before? Uh, I think my friend has done it with just his bare mitts. I think I've done it before with my bare mitts, you but... You think? I've played this game a lot, okay. I guess so. Like, five or six times. Okay. And now we find ourselves at Hotel Transylvania. And waifu bait. All right. So the message offer y the messengers. That, that's the name of those little guys. Offer you a trick weapon. Choose one trick weapon. Is I I can't read. Y you want to read that? Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. So for all you south paws out there, fuck you. All right, we got the saw cleaver, which everybody... Oh, but that cane, though. <laughs> saw oh. cleaver, which literally everybody fucking uses. Hunter's axe, which is arguably the greatest weapon ever, but it looks fucking dumb. And then the threaded cane, which is just a joke weapon. So that threaded cane, though. That cane, though. That cane, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, read, li okay. Read that shit. One of the trick weapons of the workshop commonly used by hunters of their on their duties. And they just simply will not accept bad behavior on their weekly strolls. Sufficiently deadly as a rigid bladed cane, but also serves as a whip when its blade is split into many. And it makes you look simply ravishing. What does that even mean? What, what do you mean? It will serve as a whip when its blade is split? Yeah. So it works kind of like a short sword, and when you, um activate its trick form, air quotes, it will turn into a serrated whip. Jesus. Yeah. Concealing the weapon inside the cane and flogging the beast with the whip is partly an act of ceremony, mm -hmm. an attempt to demonstrate to oneself that the bloodlust of the hunt will never encroach upon the soul. It's a gentleman's duel, a gentleman's duel. All right, all right. Um, so which one do you want? Do, does the cane have any benefit whatsoever? Uh, it does, actually. There are, like, two different types of, um, like, special damage in this game. Yeah. There's serrated and there, then there's, like, Radiant. Okay. And, um, like, Serrated is, like, really good for beast hunting. And okay. the Radiant is, like, really good for, um, like, a bad, evil-looking motherfuckers. You racist fucker. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the thing about the Thread of Cain is it's the only weapon in the game that has both of those things. Okay, interesting. What is the axe just, like... The, damage. Axe, the axe is uh, damage if damage had a big older brother who was an ass. <laughs> and it is, um like, all of these have the serrated typing because most of the enemies that we're going to be fighting in the beginning are beasts and homeless people. 
Okay. But, um... <sighs> well, which one... Okay, so I assume that you've played with all of these weapons oh, before. Oh, yes, I have. Which one do you like the best? Which one do I... Oh, man. See, I like the saw cleaver the best, but everybody fucking uses it. And there's, like, a slightly better one later on. And... Can you not get the better one if you didn't start with that one? Uh, no, you totally can. Okay. Yeah. So... And the threaded cane is good for cl crowd control, but it takes forever to fucking kill anything. Well, so th then use the axe or the cleaver, whichever one. I'll I'll use the axe. Okay. It it looks ridiculous, but you know, this ain't fashion born yet. Yes, this is weapons. Is there a soda mine nearby? Uh, what did I do with it? You uh threw it. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> is it behind you? Oh. oh man, she is having some soda difficulty. All I'm right now. I'm like trapped in here now. Use words. You you read things oh. while I uh. While the I messengers up. offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Great. I found her soda. So, yeah, guns in this game, they exist, but they're not really there for killing as much. They're there to um, parry a motherfucker. Okay. So we either got one that's, like, super quick, shoots a motherfucker in the face, or we got one that takes, like, a half a second later and, like, covers a wider area. It's like a shotgun. So if, you're ha if you have the axe, though, mm -hmm. wouldn't you want the faster one? That's a very good point, sister. I'm glad that you brought that up. Man, look at my elite strats. Look at those elite strats. And then we get one more thing. A notebook. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share with them with hunters in other worlds. It says that we can leave messages. Whee! So it's essentially just online. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Already? Yes. I am prepared to just Danny this entire uh, Let's Play. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? I mean, here's that sick-ass controller. No, nah, I'm good. Fine. It's because it's got babes on it, isn't it? Uh, that's actually not why. I I mean, I've played a little Dark Souls 3. See, this is not Dark Souls 3. This is Bloodborne, first of its name. Okay. Trademarked. Okay. <laughs> it's completely different. All right. I'll take your word for it. I really wish that I had, like, just gone past the world and, like, picked up an item because it's, like, ten bullets. But I don't think it's there if we get the gun first, which starts us with ten bullets. Huh. So now I just feel like a dink. Hey there, motherfucker! Yeah, Falcon! It miss. Falcon miss. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Ah! And so its eyes are glowing now because it has my former blood echoes, or souls, if you will. Did you start with any? Yes, I did. Oh. I started with that many. Okay. I didn't actually How check did what... How you start with them? Then? Well, the game starts you with some. Okay. I didn't actually check to see which... What what class I started with. I think it's just milk toast. What? No, that That's what it's called. Excuse me? So... Pardon? Uh, fucking... What am I looking at here? Uh... Motherfucker. Eh! Well, um, the classes, like, the starting classes, is air quote, have, like, a different... Names uh, like veteran or doctor, troubled childhood. The beginning one is milk toast, but it's spelled with a Q. Okay, yeah, ten silver bullets are there. Huh. Yes. Okay. Mhm. Mm milk toast. So, because you already saved this person, did it just get what you had last time when you made it? Oh no, th this is a new one. I'm confused. I just used the same face. But then why didn't you choose what class you were? Uh, because um, I didn't think of it, so it, it probably just started me off as Milk Toast. Oh. Because that's the first one. That's like the basic Joe. The average Joe's gymnasium, if you will. Gotcha. All right, and if you will look at this wonderful, I assume, Queen Victorian-style arc- Jesus! I was about to actually say, like, it sounds like there's something there, but I figure, like, And yet you said I figure nothing. he's played this a million times. He wouldn't know if there's an enemy here or not. Sister, you gotta bask in the ambience. Do you say so? I do. I do say that thing. And blood vials are, you know the Estus Flask in Dark Souls? Yes. Well, that is replaced with the blood vials, which I kind of prefer, just because they're a lot faster- Really? Yeah. 
How so? Um, well, instead of standing there like a fucking idiot just drinking on your... What the... I don't even know what to compare it to. Sunny D? So, oh, you press oh. a button, and here you can move it, and... So it is a lot faster. Mm -hmm. By the time it took you to use the drinking motion and put your head back down, I already just healed myself. Right. Mm -hmm. The only difference is, though, they are finite. They can and do run out. And it's a pain in the ass when they do. Right. Okay. <sighs> so it's not like a refill at every bonfire kind of a No. Okay. okay. And if uh, you didn't hear that blood-curdling scream I did, in the back I of, did. That bridge over yonder, yeah, that's where we'll be fighting our first boss, potentially. Okay. If we don't fucking screw a pooch. I can dig. All right. We're getting to... The One thing I will say is <gasps> that... Oh, you want me to read it? Yes. This lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were saying? Um... I actually, I've seen the Game Grumps play this. Mm -hmm. And what do you have to say about it? I, I do like this game aesthetically more than I like Dark Souls. Oh, it's because everybody's got fucking fedoras now, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it just looks more um, lived in. That is a very good point. I mean, look at these sarcophagi. <laughs> Truly lived in. <laughs> oh, and here's an NPC. There's words. Is this like a young girl? Oh, no, she's talking. Okay. Um, That's a man. Here, really? Uh, yeah. Are you positive? Yes. I'm Gilbert. Oh. A fellow outsider. He sounds very meek. Probably because he's dying. Oh. He that, has, that would do it. He has the sickness, you see. Oh, the sickness. Mm -hmm. AIDS. Gotcha. Yes, so we are here. We are an outsider, not from Yarnum. And we have come to this foreign land so that we may learn of its secrets. Okay. The secrets of the... Uh... It's like I have a little smoky crown. The secrets of blood healing. Okay. And that is like, um, that's like everybody, that's like the basic cure-all. Blood from the chap, like the ministry of blood healing. It's like everybody's Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Does the blood also have Coke in it? Um, it doesn't coagulate, so I assume so. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Oh, boom. oh, I didn't even realize he was dead. I was just like, go buy him. Yeah. All right, and now? And there's, like, multiple paths to go through. Like, I could just, like, hop down here, fuck with that guy, but I'm going to go in this direction just to get, like, a few more stuffs and a shortcut. That's cool. Mm hmm So, like, you can really approach this game from many different angles, doing many different thingamajigs. The one thing I will say that I prefer in, um... Dark Souls than I do in Bloodborne is like the lack of real, really any um, outstanding NPCs, non player characters. Yes, brother, thank you for explaining what NPCs are. I'm not talking to just you, Sister Pooh, I'm talking to all the fair peoples. <laughs> Excelsior! Rah, rah. So you kind of feel like alone in this world mm -hmm. as opposed to Dark Souls? Mm hmm. I just realized I'm fighting next to a horse's corpse. Right next to a manhole. Mm-hmm. As you do. Man. So atmospheric. What was I talking about? Nothing important. Oh, hurtful. That axe is cool how it can get that long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trick what it's like now it's a halberd, so That is cool. Give me a little bit of some reach. The drawback is I can't hold my gun. And shortcut. Now for all the for all the pros. See this big guy? Uh-huh. I'm gonna kick his butt. Are you gonna sneak strike him? Oh no, sister. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna look at him dead in the face plate. I'm gonna smag him. I'm gonna mm, mm, uh, just 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 just, just I, give me, Yeah, just Uh <coughs> I don't think he <gasps> appreciated that. I'm gonna I feel like smacking him in the uh, back would have uh, been a lot uh, better of an option. Sister. That's just me, but, uh... Sister, please, I'm just gonna shoot him in the face and then all my problems will be solved. What is that called again? Um, a gun. No, the back hit. Like, essentially the sneak strike. Oh, um, backstab. Is that what it's just called, a backstab? Yeah, I believe well, so. Well, that's not as cool. Well, I mean, it, it, I get. I think, like, when you do it from the front, it's technically called a repost. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, fancy cool is, but, you know, everybody just calls it backstab. Okay. 
Sometimes lag stab if you know what you're doing and you're playing online. Okay. Yep. So, first impressions. How are you feeling so far on this game? I've already seen people play this game. Okay. So it's not like this is the first time I've ever seen Bloodborne ever. <sighs> impressions from when we're playing it together. Uh, no different than when I saw other people play. I am so <laughs> hurt right now. Why? Uh, because. You think that your playthrough is so much different and more awesome than everybody else's? Uh, yes, because I chose the fucking axe. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I knocked on the door twice, accidentally. Wh which nobody ever seems to do. Everybody just goes for the saw cleaver, which I get just because it's so good, but, you know, diversity. This guy ain't got no such damn. Don't matter to me, none. Hurtful. What? Everything. Everything you do is hurtful. And, oh, Jesus! Fire is happening! Weapons hurt. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Ow! Oh, yeah. So, yeah. There will just be random little gun pea shooter guys out there. If peas were made of bees. And those bees had knives. God damn it! Okay. What I'm trying to convey here, sister, <laughs> is that guns hurt. So, a pea shooter, if instead of peas, it was actual bullets. You know what, that's, <laughs> that's probably a better analogy than I had come, than I had said. <laughs> or just a gun, really. <laughs> or really just a gun. Oh, one thing I did want to point out, though, is, oh, fuck, I can't look at it right here. But, um, those silver bullet-looking thingies, um, right beneath our blood vials... Yes. Uh, they're called Quicksilver Bullets, which I think is actually really cool because, um, for those of you who don't know, Quicksilver is actually, like, the olden day word for mercury. So we are essentially shooting people with cold bullets made of mercury. So if they don't die immediately, they'll die from cancer later. <laughs> essentially. <laughs> uh, just like the Queen of England. The, the, the one who died of lead poisoning. Not mercury. I'm gonna stop on the head. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this comparison before I before I just start sounding like an idiot. Oh. So speaking of while we're ahead, why don't we end this video? Yes. It, it, yeah. You know, does the does the 20 minute mark seem good for you? Seems good to me since you died. Hey. I died at the beginning too. <laughs> All right, well, we will see you guys next time. And we may have more things to talk about. Maybe not. Or not. It's debatable. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.